but I'm going to focus on looking at what are some of the differentials that you can do. So if you take a look at a particular, you know, say I had a, a 4084 that I was working for a SAN, I may divide that into five RAID, RAID 6 groups with 16 drives per group. And in this case, I may have four spares that I've associated with a total use capacity of 700 terabytes. And then you can take a look at what the rebuild time is for that. The rebuild time for that particular set is in excess of 3,333 minutes in the event that a drive fails. And it's write performance is capped at 3,200 megabits per second max. If you compare that to what I can do, if I were to break that into either two or four erasure coded arrays, with the same number of spares and, and everything associated with that, you can see that the rebuild time drops significantly. If I created two adapt arrays or two erasure coded arrays of 48 drives a piece, that rebuild time for a failed drive can drop from 3,333 minutes all the way down to 125 minutes. Subsequently, the write performance now jumps up to 9,600 megabits per second capacitance of what it can handle. So when you look at that, that's a pretty large increase, not only in the right performance, but a large decrease in the recovery time that you can get. And it's because you're increasing the number of, of, of drives that participate in that particular erasure coded environment, as opposed to using 12 drives, you're using 48 drives. And by doing that, the IO capacity is gonna increase dramatically. The important thing to note here is that when you look at rebuilds and impacts to the system, and a razor coded system is going to deliver a much, much better solution set for our customer. So if we look at this particular slide where you see the time it takes to rebuild one drive. If we're looking at traditional, 55.5 hours to do a rebuild. A 24 drive adapter rate could do it in 24. A 48 drive adapter rate could do it in 11 hours. And if I dedicated 100, 128 drives to a razor coded adapter array, a single drive failure can be recovered in a matter of four hours. Fault tolerance after a second drive failure, meaning once I have a second drive fail, um, what's my, my, my lead time to reachieve fault tolerance? As you go from traditional RAID all the way adapt, you can see 55.5 hours versus 16 minutes. 16 minutes, you would be fault tolerant after a single drive failure. So there's definitely an advantage to looking at a razor coded paradigms. There is some overhead associated to it that you have to build into the actual structure of the sand storage to meet your retentions, but well worth what you see with respects to loss. If you look at the, the lower parts of this diagram, it talks about what is the impact performance of the system going to be with both a primary and a secondary drive down. In the case of RAID, you can see it's 41% followed by 62%, meaning 62 or 41% of your oval capacitance of what you can deliver is gonna be impacted immediately on a primary or secondary drive fail. If you compare that across the board to 128 drive adapt array, that would be 6% for the first and 49% for a second. If you have hot spares, you could actually get to a point where you could build this out and really target yourself into that six to 10% performance impact loss. Meaning even when a drive fails, you're able to maintain that high throughput or IOP capacity into the system. 